Hello. With version 0.168.0, Anytan introduced the user management functionality. So if you are installing Anytan or any version of Anytan starting from 0.168.0, you would be able to take advantage of this user management functionality. In this video, I am going to show you how to configure user management for your own Anytan instance. Now I already have a video taking you step by step on how to deploy Anytan on a server. So follow along that video if you are new to deploying Anytan on the server. In this video, I am using Docker locally on my machine. But all the configurations and all the steps that I am showing in this video can be followed for deploying Anytan on the server as well. The user management functionality is enabled by default. For some folks, this might not be ideal. You are the single user of Anytan and you don't want the user management functionality. So you can disable the user management functionality. All you have to do is configure the Anytan user management disabled environment variable to true and start your Docker container. So now you can see that we can access Anytan as we used to do before without the user management functionality. But well, this video is about configuring the user management functionality. So let's check that out. Now, the main thing that you need to configure for the user management functionality is some SMTP configurations. The first thing we need to do is set up the email mode to SMTP and then set up the SMTP host, the SMTP port, user, password, and the SMTP sender. For this video, since I'm running it locally, I have set up SMTP SSL to false, but I highly recommend you to set it to true for more secure communication. Due to security reasons, I'm not gonna show you my exact SMTP uh, credentials, but I'm gonna take you through the environment variable file that I generally use. The first thing over here is the data folder, and this is where Anytan stores the data. So I have a root directory which contains the Anytan directory. You configure your domain name and then your subdomain. Once you configure this, you will be able to access Anytan on this particular domain. So for this, it would be anytan.example.com. Now, for simplicity, I am using SMTP provided by Gmail, but you can use SMTP by MailChimp as well as Mailgun if you prefer or any other services. I have the SMTP host set to SMTP for Gmail and then I am setting my user email that I have for my Gmail account and my password. Now if you are using SMTP by Gmail, you will have to create an app password. If you are not sure how to create an app password, I will add the link in the uh, description below so that you can follow the steps on how to do it. And optionally, you can set up an SMTP sender. This can be an alias that you can use to send out invites to your team. Now, the other configuration that I have is the generic time zone. Now, by default, it is set to New York. Since I am based in Berlin, I am configuring it to Berlin's time zone. And you need the SSL email. So this is uh, the email address that is going to be used when your SSL certificate is generated. All right. So everything looks good in here. Now all this code can be found on Anytan's documentation. The only thing that I have added in here are the SMTP configurations as well as the email mode. Now let's start and now let's start our Docker Compose. Now we are on the page where we can set up an owner account. Now remember an owner account has the maximum privilege for the Anytan instance so they can invite other members and they can also delete the members. So I'm gonna say hey set up the email so I'm gonna set up the email name and a very strong as well. Now that we have an owner account, 
we can go ahead create our workflows open the template select any workflows from the template or we can invite users let's go ahead and do that so under the settings i can click on users where i am taken to the users panel and here i can click on invite and enter the email address so i am using tempmail for temporary email so i'm gonna copy the email address that provided and then send it to one. If my SMTP configurations are correctly configured, I should receive an email for this particular user. If I go back to temp mail, we can see over here that we have an invite. So let's check this email. And over here we have the email with the invite link. Now again, if I use this link, I'm going to run into an error because I don't own the example.com domain and I haven't configured it on this particular domain. Let's go ahead and try it out on a local host. So I'm going to open an incognito window. And now we can set up the account for this particular user. So I'm just going to call it virtual test. The last thing can be anything. And then a key, very strong password. So now we have the user account over here. Now again, this is the member. So if I go to settings, we only have the personal page, right? We don't have the users page because this is just a member and not the owner of the instance. If I go back to any time and over here, if I refresh this, we can see that this user is now added to any time. We can now delete this user as well. Now there are a lot of configurations that you can do. So a few of them are setting up an email template. So right now we didn't set an email template and it is using the basic email template that Anytime provides. But you can have your own custom email template. So every time you send an invite, that custom email is being sent out. You can also have a uh, password reset email template. So if a user or if, an, if a member of your Anitan instance is trying to reset a password, they would get that custom message. So this was a short video on how to configure your user management in Anitan. If you have any questions or feedback or suggestion on what you want to see next, just let me know in the comment and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.